the temperature is dropping, but we still have to run. We will discuss how to run in the cold. On this channel, we give you tips and tricks on how to be a successful runner and we provide workout videos to help you with an everyday lifestyle. So if you are interested in any of these ideas or videos, please subscribe so you can never miss a video because we have two videos come out once a week. So you want to be warming up before you head out for that rob. This will allow the blood to flow through your body. So therefore when you do go out for that run, it won't feel as bad when you start out. So by you warming up that body, it also allows your muscles to be warm as well. This will also help you to avoid injury when you go out for that run in the cold. You could do this by either walking around your house, doing some stretches, or foam roll. In other ways, you could warm up indoors to help increase that blood flow is some lunges, air squats, and thuggy kicks. Now, how do you dress when running in the cold? So you want to underdress because your body tends to increase while running. So the rule of thumb is you want to dress like it's 20 degrees warmer. So it's 25 degrees outside, you want to dress like it's 45 degrees. And it's 50 degrees, dress like it's 70. But if it's windy, make sure you dress like it's a lot more colder outside. Other ways that you want to stay warm in the cold, especially if it's really cold outside, like below 30 degrees, you may want to dress with a ski mask or double layer your socks if your shoes have enough room in it. Carry some tissue if you're having a runny nose. So when it comes to your shoes, you want to wear shoes with traction. This will help you when running in snow and ice. So therefore it can help you to avoid slipping. Now if you want to get some trail running shoes would be even better because usually these have the needed traction on them. Now when it comes to your clothes, you want to be dressing in layers. Cause most likely as you're running, your body will warm up. And so therefore you might get more hot than it was when you started out. And so by you dressing in layers, this allows you to take out the sass layers you have on and be able to run with less clothes on. So when it comes to layers, you could be doing uh, three layers, but typically runners would need two layers. So that base layer would be some type of sedative material because this will whisk moisture away from your skin. The second layer could be a wool or fleece material. And then that top layer could be a jacket that have windproof or waterproof on it to keep you dry and warm. Now you want to be covering up your extremities as well. This means that you want to be covering up your head, nose, ears, and even mouth. Now if you think about covering up your neck, you could be using a neck gaiter. So you could be wearing something like this that will cover up your face to help you stay warmer and also protect your throat, especially if it becomes irritated. You also be, could be wearing gloves to cover up your hands, from, keep it from getting cold. And now if the temperature get below freezing, so it's less than 40 degrees, you can also be using balm or petroleum jelly to cover up different areas of the body as well. Now in the cold, your pace and mileage will be affected. This means that if the temperature is below freezing, that pace will be slowed down about 15 to 20% than your normal pace. So don't be expecting to run your normal pace at this time because you want to be avoid slipping. So focus on maintaining your endurance, that miles, instead of trying to get speed work in. So you don't want to be wearing cotton because cotton will just keep the water to your skin and will cause rubbing. And you also want to be thinking about wearing reflective gear, especially if you are running in the early mornings or that evening run. So you also can run in the middle of the day because this is when the temperature will be higher. 
Now you definitely want to still be drinking water at this time, even though you might not be as thirsty. So you want to be drinking water before, during, and after the run to stay hydrated. Now you can find a loop to run around, so therefore if it's too cold, you could turn back around and go home. And if it's a windy day, then try to run into the wind first and then away from the wind afterwards when you're coming back because you're gonna be more wet and have a more increased chance for chills. Now, if you are driving back home after your run, make sure to bring some dry clothes to turn, change into after your run and a large jacket and some hot beverages to drink. As soon as you get home, take off that wet clothes and put some dry clothes. Make sure to take a shower to defrost and drink some more hot beverages like hot tea or coffee to warm your body up. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And until next time, bye-bye.